for this episode, we're going to install the, I'm going to have to lift this up, let me find my block, install the flywheel, the magneto stator, and the outer stator cover. So, we have the stator, the magneto, or whatever you prefer to call it. And it's going to go, it's actually got adjustable timing. So you can adjust the timing on it. culprits they are Phillips now this is not well, I need to set it first. <clears throat> so I'm gonna, I gotta put Loctite on them. I'm getting ahead of myself. There's one. Tight on it. Stick it back in there. We gotta make sure it's in the right spot. So we gotta loosen up all of these just a little bit. Now I'm gonna put it back where it was when it came to me. Looking for the damn timing mark on it. I'm pretty sure we're missing one of the screws. So let me look up the part number of that one. I've probably got that in stock. It shows there's only three of these. One goes here, one goes there, and one goes there. There's not one that goes here. Which I find that odd because it actually has a mark where one has been. So maybe that's where we do our timing at.
Now, gotta use a number three screwdriver to actually tighten them down. You can use an impact driver to set them in place. Just tap them in place to make sure they they stay there. But if you got a good grip and you got a good screwdriver with a good bite, you can do those. It'd be fine. Now we're gonna line our all right. That's odd. Keyway faces a magneto. Okay, with, with it at TDC. Just making sure it confused me there for a minute. We're going to put our firewheel key. Set it in place. I'm applying downward pressure right now. Let's go rock it in place there. There we go. Now, take your flywheel. Try to look straight down over your keyway. don't hit a flywheel with a metal hammer. I'm barely tapping it with this <clears throat> so it takes the keyway and marries itself to the shaft. And you'll take a washer and I think that goes to the one I replaced earlier. We will figure it out. Take this one Put that there. They got 17. 17. Yep. Now I can torque it. Whenever you're torquing down a flywheel, you want to see it with either with a wrench or with a, a small impact first to get it to go all as far as it's going to go and set in place. And then you torque this to the right foot pound. If you try to do the torquing from start to finish you'll get false readings because the keyway could cause the flywheel to hang up a little bit or whatever and next thing you know the motor cranks up and the flywheel decides to set in place well then it has slack and the nut gets loose and it falls off um, so stick it in place first and then come back and retorque it oh here it is right in front of me Pretty sure it's 38 or 48. We'll see. And where's my wedge? There it is.
Put a wedge in there. Definitely it. Now, since we got that, don't think we're going to need this anymore. The next thing is, I believe it's the neutral indicator. Yeah, that goes right here. Let me see, where's my little dental pick at? Over here, hot for me. Got a little dust down in there. Even though out of all the parts of the motor, this one right here will get dusty. This, the cover that covers this one up, I mean, but you don't want it exposed to no more dust, dirt, and mud than it has to be. Now, this is on the end of your shift cam, and you got a little hole. Just put the spring in the little, I need my tweezers. Take the spring. Put it in a little hole. Then you'll take this little brass piece. You're gonna put it in there right behind it. Like damn it. Like so. There you go. Then this piece. It's got an O-ring that goes on it right there, so let's find it. I'm not 100% sure if that's it, but... I guess it is it. All right. Put our O-ring on. Now, I'm going to use a little assembly loop. We're going to put the sensor. It goes like this. Two small Phillips heads. We'll put Loctite on them, one at a time, one that goes there, one that goes there, like so. Supposed to torque these down too, but just tighten them up, don't over tighten them, and you'll be fine. Now, I'm going to put this around that, remove that block, set that down. Probably could have put the cover on the side first. Y'all saw me looking way over there, one of the damn covers right here next to me. That damn cover. All right.
<clears throat> what a take. Okay, I was backtracking. This goes right here, holds the clutch arm in place. I believe it's a four, let's see. Yeah, anyway, it's a four millimeter holds that in place like so now we can put our gasket on side cover That goes there, that goes there. Now you really don't have to tighten these all the way up because you've got to take this back apart to hook up your choke cable. Um, but for the sake of shipping it off, or not choke, the clutch cable, But since somebody else is going to be installing it, I'm going to snug them up. And there'll be a note, an install note that go out with it. There. Now. There you have it. That concludes our video for the stator side.